Tabitha Susan Wanjiko Njoroge is my name, a counseling psychologist by profession. Uh, welcome back again to this YouTube video. And today we are going to tackle on how can the older people uh, cope effectively during this pandemic. And this is an experience that has not been there before. And there are people who have probably experienced something like this uh, during the World War II, but uh, this is actually a very new experience to each one of us. And what can the older people do during this time? And one, they need to be prepared. And being prepared, this means keeping useful contacts in an obvious place. Uh, for instance, contacts of family, friends, a doctor uh, in a place where they can easily access. Also, it is important uh, for them to get in touch with their doctor in case of a health problem that arises during this time. Also, it is important for, for them to know that uh, medication may take time uh, to be delivered because of the curfews and also uh, the inability to access uh, uh, the, the hospitals in good time. So it's important to, to plan uh, in advance. Also, it is important uh, for them to, to think of who can be of help. It could be a neighbor. It could be a friend who lives uh, nearby. So it is important to know who can be uh, of, help, of help to them during this time. Also, it is important for them uh, to reach out. And that is the second point, staying in touch. And staying in touch, they can do this uh, using the phones uh, to reach and talk to their families. Uh, also, they can uh, think about a neighbor once again whom they can uh, stay in touch with and get to know what is happening around. Also, they can um, stay in touch with local community uh, support groups that can be of assistance during this time. And asking people who are those people they can reach out to. Also, it is important for the older people to know what is entitled to them. And this can be through the community health workers. It could be through the local chief uh, who can get the contact of the older people in the in the neighborhood and in their community. And through this, uh, the county government can be of assistance. Uh, so it is important to know uh, who and what is entitled to, to them uh, because there are those things that are even entitled to the older people even way before the coronavirus uh, came to be. Also, it is important for the older people to know what are some of those little things that they can do uh, within their environment that can still uh, be of assistance to their mental health. One, it is important to keep a routine, uh, knowing what are some of the things that they are bound to do in the course of the day. Also, they can listen to music uh, through the local radio stations um, or even music that uh, they can get on their phones. Also, it is important for them to limit the intake of the information they hear uh, so that uh, anxiety does not um, become a part of them. Also, ensuring that you still do exercise. Exercise is important because your physical health is also uh, very necessary. And also staying in touch. And you can stay in touch by ensuring you can get some airtime and you can call uh, your friends and family uh, during this time. And these are some of the little things that you can still do within your reach that will make you feel more in control. And also as we come to a close of this broadcast, uh, it is important to be careful and stay safe. Uh, this crisis brings the best and the worst in people. And people may not always be who uh, they claim to be in person or who they claim to be online. So it is important to check for identification in case someone uh, is calling you and they are trying to ask for uh, personal details. Uh, get to know the clear identification of that person. Also, avoid giving um, your MPSA number, your bank details uh, account number, because there are people who are going to use this pandemic uh, to con people and even tell you that the older people are receiving uh, assistance from the national government or the county government and they are requiring your details, uh, be very careful uh, of such people who may want to take advantage of you uh, during this time. Um, also, what can other people in your community do? Uh, it is important for those in the community to 
to ensure that they check out or for the old people who are in their homes alone, either isolated, either in quarantine. It is important also to uh, to know or to want to know or rather knock on a neighbor's door and check up on them how they are doing. So ensure you also reach out to the older people within your community and know how they can be assisted. So thank you very much. Remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel and have a wonderful time uh, depending on where and when you're going to be watching this video. Thank you very much.